like I said before I end this vlog for the day I'm heading home and before I edit haunted the word on the curb is y'all know they were saying T.I. and Tip got two homes and Tiny bought a home and moved out and if y'all noticed the other day on live she told Tip to hurry home honey the word on the curb is that uh, the house that Tiny was living in it then went into foreclosure yes foreclosure you ain't here for me bitch I ain't the one that gossip okay yes so she would tell him to hurry home because she had to move back in the house okay and that's why she out there trying to secure the bag why he out buying these lavish cars trying to make everybody think <laughs> they got all this money see somebody else who's that say y'all be watching folks on social media y'all think these ninjas is rich and honey, they be living from pillar to pillar and post to post. While you get up and go clock in and they be talking about you and your clock in job. Uh, at least you know your bills is paid. This social media shit, don't let it get the best of you. People head get big and everybody think, oh, they this, they that, they the other. Uh, nine times out of ten, them the people struggling the hardest. And Funky Dineva. And T.S. Madison getting ready to do the Queen Supreme Court. The Queen Supreme Court. Hey, I can't wait for tomorrow. Well, tonight, rather. But uh, I thought maybe I'd slide in and let y'all know some more dirt before I get this video started. Happy Tuesday, guys. Be blessed. You ain't here from me. Because I ain't the one that gossip. Do you love me? Are you riding? Say you never ever leave from beside me Cause I want you and I need you And I'm down for y'all So please listen to the message that I send Don't ever talk to a girl who says she just has a friend Has a friend Has a friend Oh baby you Good morning Miss Selena Good morning guys Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, love. Whenever you guys make it this. I hope everybody's having a blessed, blessed, blessed day. Y'all, it's just been so hot here in Vegas. Yeah, we and at I We're not used to humidity. I'm just gonna say it. It could be 30% and we somewhere, oh, oh, oh. We are not used to this humidity. And uh Arthur been hanging out. I be like, would you go? I am not interested in your ass. Will you leave me alone, arthritis? <laughs> That's who Arthur is. But uh, you guys, Miss Selena Powell. I guess she said Uncle Snoop. Not only am I gonna tell, uh oh, I ain't break my nail, did I? Not only am I going to tell you was cheating with me, but since you wanna say I'm cloud chasing. <laughs> You were sniffing uh, cocaine off my breast. I said, you a dirty bitch. I said, somebody better get this little girl. And I, she only 22. I said, somebody better get her. She gonna end up dead. She ain't gonna make it 23. She she messing with these known gang bangers. Betty, all set. And I'm like, uh, Takashi 69. I'm like, who want us all? Y'all all just dipping y'all shit in this bitch that done had everybody i hope y'all using protection that's all i want to say she gonna get something she can't get rid of and uh y'all gonna get something that y'all wish i wouldn't have never tried to conquer I, i'm like why why do everybody want the same bitch what is it men there's nobody else out there it's so many beautiful beautiful females in the world and y'all all go after one girl and this known thought come on Snoop you my age Snoop they say you 46 48 somewhere up in there she 22 shame on you Snoop I'm gonna say that cuz you got kids her age and it ain't nothing wrong with uh you having somebody young you could be a cougar but come on Snoop you almost three times her age. <laughs> 22, 44. All right, twice. I gave you some years. But, uh, come on, Snoop. That's all I'm going to say. It's shame on you. Shame 
on you, Snoopy Doggy 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 Dog. Okay. Y'all, I've been pouring this turmeric. A lot of people, my, a lot of people say put it in hot tea. Y'all, my mind be going faster than my mouth, and I already talk fast. But I put it in hot tea. Only tea shit. I'm pouring it in coffee. That's what I drink all the time. I got to get rid of this arthritis. And with these clouds, honey, they they hold on, okay? But uh, back to uh, Miss Selena. Selena done had FaceTime videos, text messages, DMs, videos. I said, oh, this a dirty bitch. All I got to say, girl, you're going to come up dead. You better be careful. That's all. That's all I'm going to say. Somebody going to find her little body. She think it's cute. She trying to be superhead. Kareem Stephan. Somebody going to find that little, that little body. Look like it's about five pounds soaking wet. I mean, and she not even all that. I'm like, I can see if the bitch was fine and whatever, whatnot. I'm like, so you meet these guys just screwing them. They not giving you no money to where you can go and get, get a, a BBW or a nice weave or something you know okay you probably got naturally pretty hair but i don't know i i'm just not getting it okay i i just don't get it i am not getting it yeah at least not the right notes but um love and hip-hop uh hollywood allegedly done fired, allegedly done fired um, Mariah Lynn um, Brianna uh, Brittany Brianna and uh, Dream Doll they're saying they're tired of all the fighting and they want it to be drama free, I'm like oh okay you do know this is a reality show right you do know this is a reality show. Allegedly. They say they want less drama. <laughs> That's funny. And um, K. Michelle over there loving hip hop Hollywood talking about she, she quit again, bitch. You keep going back to these reality shows because undoubtedly you must need these little checks. But when you get there, you don't want to do what they say do and you quit. And then you want to come on and talk about everybody's story fake, bitch. Your, yours was somewhat fake. We we the creators of uh, reality TV. We started loving hip hop ATL. Okay, my thing is, why are you all over the nation on every reality show that Mona Scott got? You on you went to loving hip hop hot, uh, New York. You started in Atlanta, New York. Now you over there in Hollywood, bitch. If you don't go set your ass down somewhere, if you don't want to be on Mona Scott loving hip hop, why are you going from show to show? And I'm saying, if somebody, excuse me, could sit up and watch that old boring ass K. Michelle show. And I mean, that shit was boring. The ratings probably was low. That's why your ass flopping from show to show. But I thought your music career was booming. And I love K. Michelle's voice. But she reminds you of another um, Keisha, Keisha Cole. There's only so much of them dreary uh, songs you can take. I didn't mean it like that in a bad way. Because I love love songs, don't get me wrong. But I guess there's only so much of heartbreak nation you can take. <laughs> oh, Y'all, I'm just trying to get my mind along with my body together. So we can focus and hit it. It's Monday. Good morning. It's Monday morning, you guys. Tuesday when you guys may get this. I hope everybody enjoyed their weekend. I hope everybody have a blessed day whenever you guys may get this. Y'all, Lil Boosie and his clan. I think Lil Boosie got about 25 kids. I told y'all he was coming. Well, anyway, Lil, Lil Boosie went to jail back in 2000, uh huh, 09 for threatening his baby mama's brother. Allegedly, he put a hit out on him or he had something to do with what happened to him. So now the same baby mama, now he done allegedly put a hit out or threatened on her. 
she didn't call the police they just went straight to social media i'm like yeah what is going on in america everybody goes straight to social media and somebody said she didn't call the police she took her 50 little people and went straight on social media i'm like y'all know y'all out of line I am hot. It's humid. You know how you're running. You got a hairbrush. It's been so humid so much lately. I just feel sick. But anyway, Lil Boosie and his issues, okay? I say it's too much going on, you guys. Um, the little YouTuber, I don't know if you guys keep up with some YouTube. The little boy DDG, where he was just a little YouTuber. I mean, all of him, Queen. I think this little girl Ari. I'm just sitting back looking at all these people getting record deals. And uh, hell, I'm waiting for them to sign Chris from Chris and Queen. He can't sing, but hell, the rest of them can't neither. And DDG got some. I think his fan base. He got two million on one channel, one million on another channel, one million on another channel. I don't think his shit is all that in the bag of chips, but his fans, he got the fan base. I think these record labels are signing these people because they are popular on social media. That little girl, Ari, I done heard her sing one song. And I'm like, she got a record deal too? I don't know if that's true. Rich forever, forever rich or whatever. I'm like, you know what? Let me see, can I get a record deal? No, I, I don't, I didn't think so. <laughs> but uh, they all just social media popular and they all get record deals. I'm like, what is going on? All you gotta do is say you do uh, YouTube and uh, you got two million or uh, one million followers and they signing people. But uh, the little boy was on there this morning talking about he done broke up with his girlfriend. I said, and I am going to capitalize off this. I said, boy, that's the only thing I hate about having one of them social media relationships. Honey, when you want that shit to go away, you just want to move on to the next part of your life. Of course, people want to see when y'all break up and when y'all go through the drama. And I've been told somebody, oh, why right, you got the cameras rolling now? I've been told somebody, you better get the fuck out of my face with that old bullshit. <laughs> so, I laughed. I said, is it worth it? Yeah. No. And you guys with the superhead, Kareem Stephens. Oh, it's so just uncomfortable right now. With the uh, social light superhead, y'all remember superhead, the video fixing. Well, I guess her and Melissa Ford used to do a lot of videos together. You guys know Melissa Ford was in a bad accident about two, three weeks ago. And, uh, yeah, know she worked over there with uh, Hollywood Unlocked with Floyd Mayweather, Jason Lee. And uh, they, they didn't even really, I don't know if it's me. They, don't, they didn't really just say, you know, we're praying for her. And uh, I know Claudia Jordan set up a GoFundMe. Floyd Mayweather is one of their supporters. They should never have a GoFundMe posted when you work for Floyd Mayweather, okay? Never. Claudia, maybe you need some shoes or whatever, whatnot. I, I'm not I'm not grasping on that one right there. But uh, Superhead went on there and said, Bitch, I don't care if you are right or not. I ain't gonna play like I like you. And I don't give a fuck on if you feel better or not. I said, oh, you dirty. She said, I don't care for you. And I ain't gonna fake like I do. In other words, she's like, bitch, die. And I was like, oh my God. Super hit. But that's why you're not having no good luck. You're telling, you're telling everybody business except for Lil Wayne. She said she's gonna always love him. But you guys, it done been 14 minutes. What have I talked about? I guess it took me two minutes to get in the car and tell y'all how hot I was. <laughs> but uh, you guys, y'all have a blessed day. Happy Monday. Tam G, I'm going to get your card. It took me a couple days to get a hold of you. So give me a little time to get it. And uh, I, girl, I just got to pick it up and get a stamp and get it mailed off. But as soon as I mail it off, I'm going to take a picture and show it to you. You guys, y'all have a blessed day. Thanks for sliding through. Hit the like button. Follow me over there on IGTiki44. 
go away humidity <laughs> bye guys